Hi, and welcome to another episode of AO Pilates and Friends. Today, I'm joined by Becky. Hi. Becky, thank you so much for coming in today. Okay. So, if you'd like to tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do, and your kind of workout regime at the moment. Um, I trained as a dancer. Okay. Um, so, I've performed doing lots of different shows for a long time, and right. now I teach uh, baby ballet. Oh, right. Um, so, yeah, that keeps me fit, but okay. I also like different styles of fitness. So. Right. Yeah. So in terms of course obviously you're quite busy with your teaching, um, what do you do for your own fitness kind of training that you do? Um, I like HIIT classes, okay. I also like um, bar classes, uh -huh. they're a big favourite of mine. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Any sort of cardio stuff, running? Yeah, cardio, no, running. <laughs> I hate running. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, in terms of the, your dancing, so you used to be a dancer, yep. um, what kind of things did you do or how long were you dancing for? Um, I started dancing when I was about four. Oh, wow, okay. um, I used to do gymnastics as well. Right. Um, I've worked for Disney for a long time, done oh, a lot okay. of children's theatre. So. Oh, brilliant. Did you yeah, enjoy it? Everything. Yeah, it's, yeah, I really oh, enjoy it. That's yeah. cool. So, for, in terms of the session today, um, is there anything that you'd like to focus on that you find maybe when you're training you need to maybe work on certain parts of your body? <coughs> um, yeah, is there anything you, you want to um, focus on? Mainly like legs. Okay. Bum. Ah, okay. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. We can we can tailor that to you and make you work. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Right. So, are you ready to get started? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Ah. <laughs> right. So, we just about to start our class. Um, so, Becky's just safely mounted onto the reformer, and I'm just holding on to here just so it saves it from flying off of it. Because obviously, as soon as it starts moving, um, the reformer will start moving as well. So um, we're going to start off working with, you mentioned you wanted to work a bit in your, in your glutes and your legs. Yeah. So this is a really good sort of warm up to get the legs moving, get the blood pumping into, into the legs as well, okay? Yeah. So I'm just going to drop down to one red spring there and I'm going to slowly start taking my foot off, okay? Yeah. So we should start with a nice warm up. So I want you to take a deep breath in for me to prepare. As you breathe out, I want you to brace through your core muscles and just open your legs out nice and wide for me. Good, and then slowly bring that leg back in. Good, so make sure your body follows that leg, so your centre of gravity is always in between your legs. Brilliant, lovely. And bring it back in. How's that feeling for you? Yeah, that's so, okay. Yeah, keep going. Open up, lovely. Bring it back in, good. And open. So you should start to feel that a little bit into your inner thighs. Yeah. Yeah, when you're pushing out. Especially as you're trying to bring that carriage back in, your glutes are nice and tight to help bring that leg back out as well. Give me three more of those. Looking good. Two more. Nice straight posture. You can tell you used to be a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Brilliant. And bring it back. This time, let's just hold the carriage here just to help you get into position. Yeah. I want you to just bend through your right knee. So it's almost like a single leg squat. You're going to keep the left leg nice and straight, mm -hmm. and your body weight is going to follow that right knee as you bring the carriage out. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to slowly start taking my foot off. Okay? Take a deep breath in for me again. As you feel that brace that core, bend through that right knee, and then push away. That's lovely. Good. And bring it back in. Good. And again. So push, 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 push out. Squeeze the bum to come all the way back in. Lovely, and again, out. Squeeze into the glutes on that right hand side. Looking good. Out. Squeeze, to come all the way back in. How's that feeling? Yeah, fine. Good, keep going. Out. Bring it back in. Give me three more like that. Bring it out. Good. And two more. Last one, just hold it out for me. I want you to just come back in halfway. So we're going to do little pulses. Ten, back up. Nine, eight, good. Seven, six, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, and bring the carriage all the way back in. How did you find that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. So I'm going to hold the um, carriage here. If you can just come off, and then we're going to get you to. Oh yeah, that's a easy way of doing it. She's got bad luck, guys. Sorry. She used to be a dancer, so she knows about all of this. So just turn around, Bob, and move this um, anti-sleep pad. Again, 
very important for this exercise because if your socks are slippy, you can easily just come off and then it makes it exercise less effective. So we'll always have the anti-slip mats on there. Okay, so same thing we did on the, on the right leg, we're doing left. So I'm going to slowly start removing my um, foot on here. Yeah. Same thing again. So take a deep breath in for me. As you breathe out, brace your core. We're going to open the leg out. And your center of gravity just sits right between those legs. Brilliant. And come back in. And again, brace through that core. Looking good. You seem more flexible this side. Or going further out. Yeah. Yeah, you seem yeah. to. Yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> Maybe that size yeah. has it got a bit more give to it yeah. than the other one. Yeah. That's fine. Good. Is the resistance okay? Yeah, it's fine. Perfect. And squeeze the bottom to come back all the way back in. Looking good. Bring it in. Lovely. Give me three more of those. Squeeze and look good to come back in. Two more. And the last one. I'm going with you as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then this time we're going to go with single leg squats again. So the left leg is, is kind of bent and you're going to keep the right leg straight if you can. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in again to prepare. And as you bring up, brace that core. We're going to push out with that left leg. Good. And come back up. So making sure your weight is resting on top of that left leg for yeah. me. So come out. Good. Lovely. And bring it back in. And again, pushing out and back in. How's it feeling for you? Yeah, fine. Good. Out, looking good. Posture is on point. <laughs> really lovely straight back, looking really good. Good. Two more. I'm going to do all pulses. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one. Yeah. <laughs> and then come back halfway for ten. So you can do pulses now. So come out. And come back halfway for ten. Good. Nine. <laughs> Eight. Seven. Six. Nearly there. Five. Four. Three. Two. And <laughs> make your faces. One. And bring it back in. That's the joys of facing your with the camera. You can make whatever face, face, faces you want. Okay, now come to so you step off the um, reform and I'm just going to have my hand on you just to protect you. How was that for you? Was that okay? Yeah, that's why it seemed harder. Right. Yeah. Like, it's, it's funny though, isn't it? Because you yeah. always find, as you do these exercises, there's always a side that you find easier and harder. Yeah. Have you had any injuries on that side at all that may have no, caused it? No, no, no. Maybe that's just... Yeah, maybe just know. tighter on that side. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Right, so we're going to do um, some sideline stuff, again, to get those glutes fired up. Yeah. Okay? I'm going to grab a pillow. So, that was shot. And uh, so this make laying on your side a little bit more comfortable. So if you come around onto there, and then just sit on the edge of the performer, and then just scoot back a little bit, and then lay onto your side. That's one. Okay, so with this one, make sure that the hair is out of the way, which it is, perfect. So, we're gonna do legs and straps. So the one top leg is gonna be in straps, so we're gonna be working onto the top glute, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you can place your bottom foot onto the bar on here for me. Yeah. So push off on there, that's it, perfect. I'm going to give you this strap through here. So push off of that bottom foot, and then the foot goes into the top. Yep. Right, how's that feeling? Yeah, okay. yeah. So I'm just going to manhandle you a little bit there, so you're going to have your foot sort of in that direction there. Okay? Yep. So all you're going to be doing, is the resistance okay? Yes, yeah, fine. Perfect. So taking a deep breath in again, uh, one little thing, I'm just going to make sure your spine is nice and straight. So scoot your bottom back a little bit. That's it, and then your top like that. That's the one. Yeah. Just to make sure the spine is nice and straight to do the exercise to protect the lower back, okay? So we're going to take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, we're just going to push that leg out for this, but push it from the hips. So this one bends in like that. That's just doing nothing, just resting. Okay. And then bend the knee again for me. And push that leg out, squeeze into that top glute for me. Lovely, good. And again. And push, 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 push. Good. Bring it in. And push. How's that feeling for you? Yeah, it's okay. Fine. Yeah. Keep going. Bring it in. And push. <laughs> Good. So this is a really lovely exercise to get to, to get the glutes engaged. It's also nice to get the hips starting to move a bit more. 
And if you go back far enough to that leg, you can start to feel a slight little stretch in those hip flexors as well. Yeah. So it's doing quite a few things already. And coach me three more. I haven't forgotten about you. Like, What's going on? How many reps am I doing here? And two. Lovely. And the last one. Good. And this time, bring that leg back in. And we're going to straighten, so push it all the way back out again. And then we're going to open that leg up towards the ceiling. Good. Sweep that leg all the way back down. Lovely. And bend that knee again. And stretch, push away. Leg comes up towards the ceiling. Drop it back down. Good. And bend that knee. How's that feeling? Yeah, that's fine. And stretch. And lift. And down two more like that. And bend. Push. Straight up. And down, last one. Keep it pleased to know. <laughs> and push up and down. Brilliant. So your glutes should be really feeling it. Yeah. Or oh, one glute from, shall we say, <laughs> the left side. This time we're going to go for our tab exercises. Mm -hmm. So if you can move the strap onto just behind your knee. Okay, so with this one, we're starting with level one. So we're starting with the feet together, a bit lower here. That's it, perfect. And so keeping the feet glued together the whole time, I want you again to take a nice deep breath in to prepare. As you exhale, I want you just to open up through that top knee, keeping the feet together lovely, and drop it back down. And again, open up through that top knee, and back down. Good. How's that feeling? Yeah, that's fine. Open, and down. Good. As you open, emphasize on squeezing through that top glute for me. That's lovely. Good. And down. And a really good watch point, which you're not doing by the way, because you're doing it perfectly, is try not to lean back as that leg opens up. But you're staying nice and still here, so you're really focusing that engagement into your glutes rather than into your lower back. So, top marks for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, give me two more like that. Open, down, and the last one. Open, and down. So this time we're going to go for our level two of the yeah. same plan exercise. So you can sweep your legs up. There. So the same thing, just keeping the feet at that angle. Take a deep breath in again for me. As you breathe out, brace your core. Go start lifting through that top knee. Good. And down. Uh, how's that one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going up a notch. <laughs> and down. Good. Up. And down. Just two more. Kind this time. Yeah. <laughs> up. And uh, so just open up one more time for me. Let's change that a little bit. So now we'll reach the foot out and then feet back together and the knees together. Good. And we're we'll over through the knees. We'll reach that foot nice and long. Feet back together and the knees together. Good. Two more. Open. Reach. Feet together. Knees together. How are we doing? Fine. Open. Because <laughs> it's the last one, that's why. Feet together. And brilliant. So if you can, straighten your bottom leg for me, try and reach out for the bar. There we are. Yeah. And then slowly unlet the ravel your way out of that strap. Just grab that for you. So we're going to do the same exercises over to the other side. So just get over to the other side. Just hold the cabbage on here for you. How are you feeling? Yeah, fine. Yeah. It's a weird one because you, you're laying on the same side you've just done, so your bottom feels like it's burning yeah. laying on the side. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the same thing you did on the other side. Bottom foot on the bar. Yep. And then top foot comes up. Reach for this guy. And there we are. Right, so, and then release that foot for me. That's just going to bend and that's going to stay idle on the carriage on there. Yeah. Okay, so just see your alignment through here. Okay, perfect. So nice and straight through that lower back. Set that knee up a tiny little bit. There we go. So, deep breath in again to prepare. As you exhale, just brace through that core and push that leg out. And bring it in. Any difference left and right? Does it feel easier, about the same as the other side? At the moment it feels the same. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. And push out. And back in. Good. So pushing from the hips, you re squeezing into that glute in there. Perfect. Good. Keep going. Pushing out. And release. Good. Pushing up. Squeeze the bottom of the legs nice and straight. And again, give me three more. And two. Squeeze that bottom. Lovely. Last one. 
arms straight. And then from here, leg up nice and high towards the ceiling, and then sweep it down, and then you bend that knee. Good. And straighten the leg, reach up nice and long. Good. Leg down, and bend the knee. Two more. And how's that feeling? Yeah. Yeah. Good. Down. And bend that knee. Last one. Looking super good. Lengthen. Good. Down. And up. Lovely. Good. This time, we're going to move that strap to um, just behind the knee. That's it. Feet together. We've done this before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the other side. <laughs> Okay, so from here, clam to exercise level one again. Yep. So feet stay down, take a nice deep breath in again, and then as you breathe out, brace into through those core muscles and just lift up through that top knee. Perfect. And back down. And again. Good. So great control, same as you had on the other side as well, which is great. And back down. And again. Open. Actually, I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> and down, uh, give me two more. It's burning. It's burning? Yeah. Yes. So you didn't say no though. <laughs> and back down, brilliant. So we're going to go up straight onto level two this time. So sweep those feet up, nice and high, brilliant. And get a deep breath in, open up. And close those knees together. Good, and again, open. And down, squeezing that top glute as you're opening up through those knees. And down. How's it feeling now? Yes, it's sore. It's sore. <laughs> Two more. Open. And down. And the last one, just hold it open for me. Reach that foot out. And feet together. And knees together. Good. So open through the top knee and then straight into that leg. And then bend the knee, feet are touching, and then knees together. Just two more like that. Open, reach, feet together, and down. Last one. Ooh, open. <laughs> <laughs> you <be> pleased to know. <laughs> and down. Brilliant. So straighten that bottom leg for me, and then reach up towards the, the bar, and then release that guy. How's that feeling? Ooh. Yes. Yeah, you got that yeah. one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good, okay, so now you can lay on your back, I'm going to get rid of this pillow because yeah. we need you nice and flat for our bridge position. Actually, I'm going to get a ball. <coughs> so starting with this exercise, I'm going to just whack the springs up. So we've got one ring at the moment. Yeah. And I'm going to give you three ribs, which is really good sort of leg resistance. Okay. We'll start off, I'll just start off with the ball, just so it's easier on the knees, it's easier on the lower back, it just takes a load off your inner thigh muscles as well. Yeah. Okay? Just sit this in between your knees and just squeeze the ball for me. Okay. okay. And making sure that the feet are about hip distance apart. That's it. Perfect. So, we're just going to go for our bridge. So, what I want you to do initially, actually, is just to tuck your pelvis down and up for me. So, just getting used to that movement just before we start lifting off from there. How's that feeling? Yeah. Okay. So, that sensation of pushing your lower back into the carriage, just when you're starting the bridge position, try and get into that position first and then start to lift, okay? Yeah. We're going to do that now. So take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, tip that pelvis back for me. Flatten that lower back. So you're tipping that way. That's it. And then start to lift, 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 lift. Hold and then slowly coming back down. Good. How's that feeling? Yeah. And again. So we start by tipping and you're coming up until your weight is better onto your shoulder blades. Lovely, and then slowly come down one vertebra at a time. Good, and again up, pressing into your heels over there. That's it, and slowly down. Try to keep the carriage still. Give me two more like that. Squeezing that ball a little bit as well. So many things to think about. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back down. Good, and the last one. I'm just going to hold it at the top for me for five. Four, squeeze the ball a bit tighter. Three, two, one, and then slowly release all the way down. Good, is that all right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do the same movement, but this time we're going to push it off. Yep, yeah, once you're up in your bridge position. So take a deep breath in for me. 
As you breathe out, brace that core, come back up into your bridge. Good. And you're going to push the heels away. So let's push the carriage. Good. Bend the knees, come back in. Ooh. And slowly lower down. <laughs> How was that one? That's soft. Yeah. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> and again, just three more like that. So push away, push away. Good. Bring it all the way back in. And slowly lower down. Two more. <laughs> you like two oh, more too many. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's good for you. It is good. Back in. Lovely. And slowly lower down. Last one. You're doing really good. Lifting up. Nice and high with those hips. Push away. Looking good. Bring it back. And then slowly lower down. Great. I think you're up for another challenge now. Oh. <laughs> So I'm going to just tone down on the resistance for you because we're going to be doing single leg stuff this time. Okay. Okay? So if you start with, so taking a deep breath in, yeah. as you breathe out, brace your core and then lift your right leg up into that sort of tabletop position, 90 degrees at the hip, 90 degrees at the knee. And then still the heel onto the, your heel onto the bar. You're going to take a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, I want to come up into a bridge position. Good, and then push away. Killer. Yeah, bring it back <laughs> in. Just two more cup going out. Back in. Good. Just go lower and lower. Last one. <gasps> out. And back in. And then slowly come back down to your right the way down. All the way down. Brilliant. How was that one? <laughs> That's so That's a good one. <laughs> so it's hamstrings as well, I'm sure yeah. you felt. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Right, so we're gonna do the other side this time. So that's the one. So take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, you're going to lift up from your bridge first, and then push away. And back in. Just two more like that. And push, keep the hips nice and high. Easier said than done, I know. Yeah. Keep breathing though. And up. Back in. Good. And then slowly lower down from your bridge. Right. Bring both knees in for a little bit of a knee hug for me. And then just kind of rock side to side. Just to stretch that lower back out a little yeah. bit. <laughs> we worked ever so hard. But yeah, it does it does change things when you start to do things single legs, doesn't yeah. it? Because you're really feeling and you're isolating. Yeah. You haven't got the other leg helping out, so no. there yeah. you go. Yeah. <laughs> Good. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, legs and straps. So we're gonna work into working into your lower back, so stretching everything through the lower back, and but it also works through the legs at the same time. Okay, okay so I have these guys here. So if you can push off with one leg for me, I'm going to put that one here, put all the resistance onto that foot, that's it, and then the other one there. Is the resistance okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so from here, we're just going to start getting used to moving the carriage with feet and straps. So bend through the knees for me, and then stretch them all the way out. So bending and stretching, that's it. Yeah. So at the moment, feet are in parallel, which is great, but hip distance apart. Good. In and out. Great alignment as well. Good. Because what a lot a lot of people do is start to get their knees coming in as they're pushing out, but you're all staying quite parallel, which is good. And up this time, keep the legs out nice and straight. Heels together, feet apart. Yeah, that's it. And then keep doing the same exercise. And pushing away. How's that feeling? Yeah. yeah. So that keeps put more emphasis onto your sort of external rotations of the hips, so on the outside of the legs. A little bit to the glutes as well. Good. Yes, three more. Good. Two more. And the last one. Awesome. Good. So this time we're going to go into our short spine. Mm -hmm. But to prepare for that, we're just going to go just folding into the hip first, about 90 degrees. And then push the legs back down. Good. And again, up. So try not to lock your knees, just soften, okay. slight like softening yeah. there, that's it, better. Because then you can engage your quads as yeah. well. There, beautiful. And out uh, from two more like that. And out, and the last one. And back to that 45 degree angle with the legs. Right, so this time I'm going to go for a short spine. Mm -hmm. So take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to bend through those hips. So bending through, so you're folding onto those hips. And then slowly start to lift up through the pelvis for me. There we go. Oh yeah, that's the one. 
and then just open up through the toes, heels together, bend the knees, bend the knees, and then slowly push those legs down as you're coming down. So push down into that 45 degree angle. Good. I think it's too light for you. Okay. I think it's too light. So bend your knees for me. Bend, 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 bend. Take this one out and that one. I'm just gonna add an extra spring. Yeah. <laughs> I think you probably need it because when you're doing that lift off, yeah. it will just give you a little bit of extra help. Yeah? yeah. Okay, so starting with the legs, it's about 45 degrees again. There we go, there. So we're just folding at the hips, so bringing those legs up and then start to lift. That's a lot better. Yeah. A lot better. Yeah. Good, so stay there, heels together, and then bend through those knees. Knees come down towards the shoulders, and then slowly curl that spine down, one vertebra at a time. Down, 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 now we're here. Then push, 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 push. Back into that 45 degree angle. Good. Two more like that. So bend. Start to lift with that pelvis. Brilliant. Open those heels, the toes, sorry, down. So keep the bend in the knees for me. So you're yeah. going to push, come down, come down, come down, come down. That's better. Mm -hmm. That's a lot better. And then push back back yeah. to the Perfect. Good. Two more then. <laughs> <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Never trust the glasses in these shots, guys. Good. Slowly down, one breath at a time. Keep those knees bent a bit more. There we go. And then from there, push away. Beautiful. Last one. Reaching up. Up, up, up. Good. Open up. And then slowly come down, one breath at a time. Down, down, down. And then push away. Beautiful. Good. Ooh. And then a couple more, just legs up nice and straight. Bring them down. Good. It's better with an extra bit of resistance, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Good. And then one more like that. Perfect. Okay, you're going to bend through the knees for me. Okay, I'm going to take one off and then reach out towards the, um, for the bar for me. There we go. Perfect. Right, and I think you are cooked. Woo! You're like, <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. Let's <laughs> <That's laughs> come back up to sitting before we face the front. Right, so how did you find that? It was brilliant. Yeah, was that okay? Yeah, it was really good. Any particular exercises you found you enjoyed the most or you felt the most? Um, I enjoyed them all. Yeah? In a, in a, good in answer. In a good way, but in a, in a painful way. Right, okay, um, good. But I think the ones with the straps and the feet, Right. And the last two exercises, as hard as they are, yeah. I think they're my favourite. Oh, good. Feel like, you, feel like yeah, it's like an all over thing, isn't it? Yeah, even Brilliant. lower abs, everything. Yeah, you felt it all. Yeah, great. Right. Right. <laughs> you did so, so well. Thank you so much for coming in today. Okay. Um, so that's it for today, guys. And um, if anyone wants to find you, where can they find you? Where are you on your social medias? Um, I'm on Facebook, um, Becky Burford, and okay. um, Instagram. Uh, which is Becky with an S, 1981. Brilliant, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you all next time on the next episode. Bye. Bye.